that. Of course, the castle with with the moat. Not not many wineries can say that. So it was a castle that was built in 1999, and we okay. took it over in 2014 and attempted to decastleify it and make something that w that had a big statement, but that fit with our brand image and all of our um, unconventional attributes. Yeah, I mean, it starts out in the vineyard and, you know, growing the grapes the proper way to grow them, harvesting them at the, the right time, and then allowing, you know, a, a winemaker like Jeremy take them from that point on all the way to the bottle. We want to make intensely flavor, you know, flavorful wines with a lot of vibrancy and fruit. We want the wines to be as good as possible and not really abide by any, you know, dogma that, sure. that affects the wine quality. And these are blended wines. Sure. This is where we, you know, bring out intensity, concentration, uh, fruit. We want this to be more uh, of an expression of Paso Robles, kind of going back the last 15 years. 